Hey, what's up guys? I am Joe from Workbench, and today we're gonna have a plexivus for the rest of us. I'll see you at the Feats of Strength. All right, so first, why not plexus of us? Just because it doesn't sound as good. All right, so today we're gonna be making the poor man's plexus. It's not as flexible as the actual plexus, but if you need some of these background elements, this will be perfect for you. Adding in this background stuff is a little bit easier to generate, and it can have a little bit more organic movement. So let's see how we can construct this. So if we take a look at this one, we're starting off with a cell pattern up here. Let me actually turn these off so you can see it a little easier. So what I did was change this to Static Plates HQ, I think it's high quality. And I played a little bit with some of the settings. I think Disperse is set to the maximum amount it could be. I messed around with the size a little bit. I actually enabled tiling. For some reason, it seems more pleasing that way. It's not tiled as many times vertically as it is horizontal. But of course you'll have to mess with this to get it the way you want it to look. The only thing I have animated is evolution and I have it set to cycle with one cycle. So every time we go with 360 degrees, we'll loop back to the beginning. So this is also easily loopable. All right, so let's close that up. After that, we're using our good old friend CC kernel. Turn that on. And you can see that this is where the majority of the look comes from. Depending on the pattern that you want in the background, you can actually use different things other than cell pattern. You can throw some footage back there and use a mosaic or whatever. Things that have high contrast edges will work best. You can even probably go nuts with it and film something of your own. That could be really cool. Anyway, we have our lines open up in CC Kernel. From what I remember of CC Kernel, we have three lines and three points in each line. It gives us a three by three little kind of matrix thing. And by changing these values, we can actually highlight or kind of take back the edges of pixels. If you remember, this lets you do like blurs or find edges. So I've messed with these settings a little bit and I found out by really reducing the middle point, we get rid of all of our information but the edges. And then I started to add like points to the very corners. So we get these points and we kind of highlight the edges. If you notice one of these is a little bit different and that's because I wanted to drop out the top edge of some of these. Because of that, we actually start to get kind of a more plexus feel where lines flow from point to point more organically. If you set this back to one, you can see that we kind of just highlight everything. If that's the look you're going for, go with it. But if you want a little bit more like shift between where these lines draw, it's best to kind of pick a point and drop that off. So while that is interesting, that's not really what I was going for. So I'm gonna undo. Then I wanted to thicken these up a little bit, so I threw a gaussian blur on it. And we throw a levels on there to crush it down and bring those lines out. And then there's a tritone on it that gives us our final look. So as you can see, it's pretty aliased when it's still, but if we play it, it's really not that bad. It kind of lends itself to kind of like a glitchy look or kind of a more organic kind of digital look that we have going on. But if you really don't want it to be that aliased, we can actually go and refine it further. So let's check out this one right here. So in this version, I've moved the Gaussian blur and the levels before the CC kernel effect. So that gets us thicker lines to start with. You can probably bring them back a little bit if you play around with CC kernel. This gets us pretty close. Our dots aren't as prominent, but we still have kind of the lines that we're looking for. But we could probably mess around with that and get that a lot closer. You can also play with the levels effect in here. Anyway, that's it. It's not going to replace Plexus, but if you put a little sweat equity into it, you can get kind of close. Speaking of, did you guys see me on the sweat equity podcast? No, because you probably didn't listen when I tell you to go to the blog. Go to the blog, go check it out. All right, guys, if you have any comments or questions, leave them in the comments down below. And if you'd like to help support what we do, check out patreon.com slash workbench. And make sure you check out the blog at workbench.tv. I've actually thrown some stuff up there. So go check that out, like that podcast thing and a cool color sampler. And there's probably some more stuff coming soon. Then that's it. All right, guys, I am Joe, and I will see you guys next week. Bye.